This is Joseph Blau Brewer for ESFI, and I am here with GSL Director Mr. Che at IPL5. How have you been enjoying your time in Las Vegas so far? Uh, this is my third time to visit Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and every time, and you know, whenever I visit Las Vegas, I, al I always enjoy this city. This city is really good, and uh, like like a song, this is a fabulous sin city. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I like this city. <laughs> this city, yeah. Definitely. Well, this isn't the first time that uh, mm. you've been here. Like you said, we saw the GSL host the GSTL finals at IPL4. Mm. Will we continue to see uh, GOM partner with IPL to bring their events uh, to the U.S. in 2013? Uh, 2013, mm. you mean? Uh, yes, I hope so. And we actually now 4 p.m. now and 5 p.m. I will meet David Ting. Mm. And we are making, we are planning to discuss about 2013 mm. plan about IPL and GSL. So I hope we can see more foreign uh, international action with IPL, IPL 4, IPL 5 and 6. Yeah. Well, you said you're going to have an mm. interview with him in about an hour, but I was wondering what is the nature of your partnership with IPL so far? Is it exclusive or could we see mm. GSL partner with other tournament organizations? Yes, uh, it's not ex exclusive because uh, we and IPL and we, uh, uh, IPL and GOMOS too, uh, we don't like exclusive partnership, uh, okay. so uh, we can we are open to any other tournaments organizers, so we can make a partnership. But IPL is the best partner now so far, and they treat us really good, and we are we respect about the David Ting's uh, reaction for Gom TV and his treat uh, treatment about Gom TV, and so I really appreciate about that to David Ting, and we can make that happen more big. We can make that happen. Uh, IPL and GSL more hype to foreign community and for foreign fans. So we are making partnership now. Yeah. Three tournament, major tournament mm. organizers, MLG, DreamHack, mm. and ESL have mm. announced a pa partnership with each other. Yeah. Uh, this includes universal ranking, master mm. tournament calendar, uh, unified competition structure, yep. combined talent and marketing efforts, all that good stuff. Mm. Was GOM TV approached about this announcement? Mm, no. Uh, we, we just... I just wa I just realized that by media press release, mm -hmm. so uh, we never heard heard about that. But uh, it's very good action for Dreamhack and ESL and MLG. Uh, the unified system, unified rank ranking system is good, but uh, it is anyone can use that uh, unless the partnership because we already have global point system, and we can use that by ourselves anyway the the cross promotion and their schedule conflict uh the the prevent schedule conflict is very good move to esports organization so it's very good move i guess i think yeah well how will, hmm. will it affect gsl and its players mm. i think nothing changed to gsl and other tournaments too it it is not their partnership is not prevent other other organization mm. it is just their good move move partnership so it's not any harm for other organization and other tournament so mm, yes GSL has no any effect about that yeah well let's talk about Korea a little bit more the next SK Planet Pro mm. League is beginning mm. on December 8th yeah have you been in touch with Kespa at all to make sure that scheduling conflicts are kept to them uh, yes uh, <laughs> we uh, Kespa and GOM we met every week now mm. Uh, after that, the Caspa boycott GSL last accident. After that, Bridges make some meeting every week. So we met, we meet every week, and we talk about schedule conflict and player conflict, and participate GSL and GSTL and participate the GSL player to uh, OG and Star League about that. So now we make huge move to forward, so we can make relationship much more better than uh, last last year. Uh, so, uh, Pro League has their, their schedule by Saturday to Tuesday. So, uh, we can make re rescheduling GSL Code A and Code S. As you know, Code S will be played to, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, there is no conflict with Pro League. So, only Code A has co some conflict, conflict about, conflict against Pro League. Mm -hmm. Then we can very easily, uh, we always making rescheduling for player to go outside of Korea event or pro league, so there is no problem about that. 
Hmm. Well, GOM just recently accepted the presidency for an ESF organization. Can you comment on the roles and responsibilities GOM hmm. is going to be undertaking as its role in president? Uh, yes, uh, the ESF, ESF players uh, help GOM a lot. Uh, before two years, two years ago, uh, when we when we operation start to operation GSL open season, they help a lot and they they help not only GSL, they help but also the foreign tournaments too, MLG and IPL and uh, NASL or Dream or something. Mm -hmm. So other big foreign tournaments make uh, invite them and make making big hype for community. Mm -hmm. So that's why the MLG and IPL. Uh, other tournament uh, make big success so um they deserve to they deserve to protect and they deserve to making their living more healthy mm -hmm. so that's why we accept their request about president of e, uh, esf mm -hmm. they they request their uh, they request gomes president of esf uh, several times but uh we we are very worried about our power because we are broad broadcasting. Si we have a broadcasting system, mm -hmm. and if we accept that, we can. We have a broadcasting system, and we have the player association too. So that that is something about the OGN plus Caspa too, the same power. So we are all worried about that, but uh, we accept that, and we will protect ESF players. So to free any uh, to free to participate any other tournament. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, let's talk more about StarCraft 2. Has the recent dominance of Zerg affected the viewership at all yeah. of GSL? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, nowadays ZVZ is really uh, the common matches, uh, especially the IPL 5, top 4, 3 Zergers, and 1 Terran. Uh, and now the World Championship is playing uh, ZVZ uh, non-stop action and GSL finals to GV ZVZ. But uh, it's because of, I think this is the because of life life affection and so life won gsl season four fi finals so that's why life is a very particular jerk so other jerks very um has got motivation because of life because mm -hmm. uh so they change their style they they are trying to make a new strategy against terran and protoss that's why um, jerks now move up more high levels one more level so uh terran and protoss uh couldn't find yet against the Zerg's new style that's why nowadays Zerg is so so strong well as a spectator and caster what do you think of the Zerg race and is it exciting for you to cast it oh, so ZBZ is over ZBZ over? yeah oh <laughs> ZBZ is a good um I think ZBZ is much much more fun than PvP <laughs> so uh, I'm okay about that uh I just hate PvP and ZBZ or TBT I like that the last yeah. night's ZBZ was exciting for you. Yeah, said, uh, the last set was really exciting, and Sean should uh, should have that game last set, but he, I think I don't know why, but he think he he would win, he can win, and he can be the champion. So he he his emotion is got higher, so he makes some mistake. Yeah, so a uh, sniper uh, really playing well. That's why sniping sniper. Uh, be the new champion of GSL. Was that one of your favorite GSL Code S finals? And if not, what was your favorite one of uh, 2012? 2012? Mm -hmm. uh, my fav favorite final 2012 was Season 2 Finals, MVP vs. Squatter. Mm -hmm. As you know, 4-3, oh, all, all GSL finals 4-3 nowadays, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, season 2, Season three, uh, season 4, and Season 5. And season 2 was the best finals ever, I think. Mm -hmm. Squatter is really good, and MVP, he is really, really good. That's why he is the four-time GSL champion. <laughs> well, is GOM ready for Heart of the Swarm with a release date of March 13, 2013? When can we expect GOM to switch over fully? Mm. Yes, uh, it announced that it announced that the Blizzard will release Heart of the Swarm March 12th, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, March 12th. So, uh, I think our our next fourth season will be end around around March or April, early April. So we will go ahead by Wings of Liber Liberty when it released during the season. Mm -hmm. Then we will finish that season by Wings of Liberty. And after that season, the next season, we will 
transition to Heart of the Storm immediately. How so many more Wings of Liberty seasons do you think we'll see? Uh, maximum one more season. Mm -hmm. Yes, next year one more season, I guess. I think, yes, one more season and not including two 2012 GSL Grand Finals. Okay. Yes. Are variety shows like Off the Record or mm. GSL News Network going to return next year? And how about the pregame show of Mr. Che and Andy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, the pregame show was uh, for fun. It was just uh, Engine and me and our global PD, Gom Soju, uh, his idea. We, we just, we just uh, eating a dinner and someone just suggestion, how about you two guys speak English for foreign fans before broadcasting? Because uh, it will either help your English, English improvement much more. So, uh, I want I want to do that and engine wants to do that so we just uh, started to do that started but uh, after we running that one or one one or two season mm -hmm. but uh, after that we have so much things to do prepare uh, before broadcasting so we have not enough time to run pre game show mm -hmm. that's why we close that show uh, so I'm sorry about that and we will run more yes uh, we will run more show like like pre-game show to some river uh river yes anytime yeah i will let you know well thank you very much mr che for the interview i'm glad you took time out of your day to come do this interview with us did you want to give any final words <coughs> yes uh ipl and gsl partnership is really worth well nowadays and i will meet david thing and we can meet again and again uh next year too so uh, thank you for ipl uh, for let go and produce whole StarCraft 2 action in Las Vegas and it I think it is a huge success for IPL and GOM too. So we can make it happen next year too. Uh, thank you. Thanks again.